Thanks for tuning in. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to delay update function. See, uh, as I know, update function cannot be delayed because when you introduce yield wait for seconds or uh, some functions like that, that is not going to be worked because update function is valid on that frame the single frame when you get to the next frame it, it's going to be called for the next time so we have an alternative for that which is using a uh, infinite loop in start function before going to that uh, let's open unity and uh, drag the game object and make a null object and uh, write a script add component a script which is a you no know, delayer, okay? Which is JavaScript, and open this. Okay. As I told you, we are going to write the script in start function, which is an infinite loop. And uh, before that, uh, I need to create a variable. Which is of type game object. Okay, now what I'm going to do is when the game is started, that wall on the screen, this is not going to be visible. It is invisible in the start. So b1 dot set active false. So that wall is invisible when I start the game. Uh, here, I want to make its visibility to be delayed for three seconds. So, what I'm going to do is write a while loop. Okay, now b1 dot set active true. Okay. For that, I have to introduce a wait for seconds, which is two seconds. Okay, and now I want to make it invisible after two seconds. So we wait for seconds. Two B one dot set active. I want to make it visible after two seconds. So yield wait for seconds two. Okay. What happens is it is going to be visible after two seconds and going to be invisible after two seconds and it is going to be visible after two seconds. Like it is you know uh, like blinking for each two seconds. So let uh, make like one second so that it will be easy okay one second and I'm going to check this out open unity object wait for a while okay give the reference and play initially it is inactive one 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 one, one. Okay, so it is blinking for each second. This is how you can delay the function without using update. We can use start and an infinite loop. What if you want to do this process after a trigger, like a trigger, like a uh, clicking anywhere on the screen or touching anywhere on the screen or pressing any key on the keyboard like uh, if you want to do like that there are sm small corrections like make this as some function like uh, delay and uh, take the input consider input is of uh, mouse click so if uh, input dot get mouse button down zero zero indicates it is the first click 
and we can call the delay function. Okay, and I already said that this is initially going to be false. To say that property, we have to write that in stock. Okay, so now it is initially not visible when we click somewhere on the screen it is going to be blank and now to check status we can write something on console so debugger log clicked when we click when we click on anywhere on the screen this message is going to be displayed and wall starts to blink and saving this open in unity play and I have to open console sorry I click something right now I'm clicking somewhere yeah click it started linking see so it works like this and this is how you can delay anything, any action, any block of code by using start or any function with an infinite loop. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.